Today, I'm gonna show you how to take that Tinkercad Flexi Butterfly and get it ready for multicolor printing. So let's get cracking. Of course, I do wanna highlight this project has a prerequisite. You need to have completed the Flexi Butterfly that was one color. If you have not seen it yet, you can find the tutorial at bit.ly bfly25. When you do find it, the template is set to copy and tinker, so don't forget the golden rule of Tinkercad. Give a reaction before you copy and tinker. When you have finished the tutorial, you'll end up with one like this. I recommend instead of tinkering this one, choosing to duplicate so you do not break what you did before. As you can see here, I changed the name so that I do not lose my original projects. All right, so let me show you how I got from this design, which of course I do highly recommend print and make sure you're happy with it before you go to the one that is more complex like this one right here. I'm going to give you a super quick review. This is all based on an image that was turned into an SVG. Once we imported it, then we used Sketch to trace half the wing. Then we designed the hinges, and once the hinges were in place, we cut out the holes so that the hinges would work. So it was really a three-step process. Then finally, we added the body. I'm going to quickly switch this to black just so that you can see how this works. I don't want to wreck my original, so I'm going to do Control D. And if we bring this up and set it close to our shape, you can see that that wing fits inside it. I'm going to just nudge it to the spot that is close. Notice I did stay completely inside. The orange all the way around is inside the shape. That is what allowed me to get this black edge all around the outside of our project. All right, so let me show you how we built this. I'm going to real quickly hide these so we can get to the bottom layer. As you can see, I've got this black piece. If we ungroup it, it is the wing where I trimmed it in half. I'll ungroup it as well. So with that ungrouped, let me show you. We've got a sketch here, and we've got another sketch. This one is a multi-sketch. I will double-click it, and you can see how I just drew these shapes using the sketch tools so that they cut the wing in half and left room for the hinges. It's that easy made sure it popped out, made sure it popped out. Notice this part of the hinge stays connected. The rest has a gap so that the hinge will function like it's supposed to. If we hit finish sketch, I can now shift select the wing part, those cutouts, and the original cutout, and do control G to group them. This is what I did to complete the outside edge that is black. And I wanna show you what I also did here with the orange. I'm going to do control D and I'm going to move this out away and notice it is just the orange minus the black pieces. If we ungroup this, you can see I took this wing piece and I turned it into a hole. That way when we select it all and do control G, we only have the remaining areas that are going to end up being the orange. To make this look a little more clear, let's switch this to the black. So this explains the bottom layer, and it'll also be the top layer. Let me show you what I did here for the middle layer. If we do show all, of course, I need to click on that one, and we'll do Control H to hide. We're going to click on the orange and do Control H to hide. And you can see that I just made this next chunk three millimeters high, and I set it on top of that layer. So I'm still going to get four millimeters, but the last chunk is going to be the combo of orange and black. That way, when this prints, we've got orange and black for a half millimeter, all black, and then finally for the top, we've got the multicolor. Let's do show all to bring those back. And I got one final tweak for you. Of course, I duplicated and put these on top. And then I took this one and I changed its height to 0.7. That way, at the end of this process, after it's done printing these hinges and the black, it gives us a more high quality orange and a little bit of texture. The final modification I did was to click on each of these hinges. And if we double click to go into the sketch, this used to be, I'll double click to modify a straight piece but I made it an angle so that way there would be less black because I was finding it was blending with the orange as it was printing. And then I just repeated that for each of the hinges. 
real quickly, I'm going to just show you this too. I flat out deleted that side. And once I had this side completely groovy, I selected it, did control D. Notice it is complex. So you've got that cut going through. Then I did shift nudge to move it to the left, flipped it, and then got it to the exact spot that fit what I wanted to build. Right there was how we did it all on one side, so it was more efficient, and now let's send it to the 3D printer. To do so, we're gonna select the orange pieces. I'm doing shift select and shift select, so we've got two shapes. If we look underneath, I'm gonna do shift select and shift select, select again. So we're up to four, and we're gonna export those as one part. It does take a moment because it's a little bit complex. I'm going to call this Orange V3 Flexi Butterfly and hit save. And I'm going to hide those parts. So if we look underneath, they are not there. Of course, now I'm going to select all of the pieces and let's choose export as an STL. Some users ask me about using OBJ files. I don't like them because they end up having to be unzipped later. I find this to be just as slick. This will be the black part of my butterfly, and I'm going to save the changes. With those steps completed, let's bounce to Bamboo Lab Studio. We are going to create a brand new project. We'll start by clicking Add. Of course, I'm in my 3D modeling folder, and there are the two parts that make our butterfly. I'm going to choose Open, and I'm going to tell it, yes, I want a single object, multiple parts. Now, when this came in, I'm going to hit slice plate just to show you how quick it would be if we printed it with one color. Check it out, 37 minutes, including warm up. We don't want one color though. We want to go back to prepare and let me show you how to do the two color. I have got black and orange loaded in my printer. I'm going to just set the entire butterfly to black quick. And then I'm going to go to the orange part and I'm going to set it to orange. Let's go back to process. I'm going to use standard settings. And if we hit slice plate, you can see that we will have a multicolor butterfly in about 56 minutes. Let's hit print plate. Of course, double check our colors. I've got my black and orange. Let's hit send. Of course, after a moment, it bounces to the device menu. And once the downloading is finished, we can click play and monitor everything from afar. And a little more than 50 minutes later, we have got a flexi butterfly. Immediately bendable right off the print bed. How cool is that? As you can see, I've been having a lot of fun printing these. They're turning out really well. Do want to remind you, they do have the hole where you can add filament. This is just standard 1.75. Squeeze it in a little bit and simply clip it off. Adds a extra color without having to actually print it. So there you have it, friends. Tinkercad Multicolor Flexi Butterfly. Of course, there are a few steps for you to go through to get there, but once you've got this technique, you can start taking any 2D image and turning it into something flexy. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to say thank you to everyone that's chosen to be one of my YouTube members. Of course, there are a few options, so make sure you check them out. I also want to say thanks to everybody that support me via Patreon. You can learn more with the bit.ly up above or the link in the description. Finally, friends, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or hit subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering.